with my hand here and my hand here. Now he's gonna come right back. And I came right back in. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna do the move again. Come back. Normal. Just relax. Come back. Energy in. Snap. And come back. We're ready. All right, teach me grappling. Brian Peterson here. I've got Joey helping me out today. Um, guys, I'm gonna give you guys a, uh, a drill. A really important drill that, that we use here. Uh, you probably aren't gonna see this drill anywhere else because it's not something that I learned. It's something that I've come up with over the years. And uh, it's an outstanding drill to teach you guys how to do a snap down. At least I think it is. I think it's the best drill and I use it for my high school wrestling team. It really, really helps them develop. And um, we do it for the youth, and then we also do it for the adults in jiu-jitsu. So, um, watch what we're gonna do. We're gonna have uh, partner Joey, he's gonna be on his knees, okay? Um, you know, his, his knees are wide, but not too wide, but not too close either. He's in the, just a good balanced position. His toes can be in the mat, in the back. His butt is not sitting down on his ankles. We're gonna sit down. We don't wanna be like this. Okay, um, he's gonna be upright, and by making him shorter, it teaches me how to beat up on midgets. Just kidding, or I probably shouldn't have said that. I think that's inappropriate nowadays uh, for small people. Okay, so is that the correct? So, I'll shut up. I'm, I'm getting dig myself a deeper hole. So come in here, John. Look, I'm gonna take my right hand. I'm gonna grab onto collar tie. This is especially for someone who's just starting out. I'm a right-hander, so I'm gonna learn right-handed. So I'll, I'll bring in a little detail in a little bit, but for right now, beginners, start out with a nice collar tie gripping around the neck, okay, for right now. Close your elbow in and put your elbow down into the chest. So come around here, it, so you can see that elbow in the chest. He's gonna take an outside grip on the outside of my triceps, just like so. Now go ahead and come over here, John. So on this side, I'm gonna take a inside hook grip what I call the, ins it's an inside tie, but it's not just a posting tie yet. Again, we're teaching grips. So when he comes up here, notice my index finger is gonna go deep in the armpit. And then I'm gonna bend my elbow and I'm gonna be here. He's on the outside, okay? I don't wanna do this drill on someone who is just dangling their arms like they're dead. Go ahead and just dangle them. Yeah, don't do that. Um, bring the arms up and just lightly grab your partner. Now with me, having a lot of height on Joey right now, look at how much taller I am. I have a huge advantage in doing this technique. So it simulates my opponent being very low and now I have the ability to manipulate his balance forward. So I place his hands on the mat with a nice snap down. Now you're gonna see some people will say never to have a collar tie and put your right leg in front. So right now I have right handed collar tie, right leg in front. There is not a problem with doing this, as long as you understand tie-ups, but it is common nowadays that people will teach collar ties with the same side leg in the back. It's very common right now to, to teach that. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys how to generate force with a snap down. So I'm gonna have my right leg in front. My left leg is in back, okay? So my feet should not be close together. I wanna put my leg back. I'm gonna crouch down and then I'm gonna push into my opponent. I'm doing that with my right elbow, okay? And then what's gonna happen is Joey has his feet in the back that he can use to push back into me. Very good, yeah, that's perfect. Now, go ahead and come over here, John. So now, I'm pushing into him. I feel energy coming back into me. The physics say, I'm pushing into him. We're not moving, so that means he's pushing back. Okay, otherwise he would have fell backward. So now, I'm gonna push off my right foot and I'm gonna step back with my left foot. But when I step back, I'm not gonna step back directly. I'm gonna make an angle out to the side. When I do that, I'm gonna step out at this direction, roughly 45 degrees, roughly. I'm not stepping to the side and I'm not stepping straight back. I'm stepping at an angle 
as I step that left leg back, I'm going to relax my arms and I'm going to snap him down with both hands. Slow motion. I'm pulling and pulling and pulling. You can release. I'm pulling and pulling him. I don't want his head to hit my knee, so my leg is going to go back. One, I don't want him to do that so I don't injure him. And I also don't want to do it because in the real situation, he would grab your leg. So that would be bad. So when you're pulling this guy down, your right leg is now going to go back. So watch as I do this. It's going to go back. Joey's going to stay forward, pull your body forward and tall. Yes, like that. And now this position right here, I've still got my right hand on his head or on his neck. My left hand's here and my right leg is in the air. So if you want to move around John a little bit just to get the angles to see what, what's going on. I'm balancing my weight on Joey, okay? I'm learning to throw this leg back, sprawl it back as I snap. And the way this drill works is my leg stays in the air. I'm balancing on my left foot, but really I'm balancing on Joey. I'm leaning into Joey. When Joey comes back to his original position, go ahead, I will step back in and we'll take the original position. So we're gonna learn a lot of rhythm and timing here. Okay, so I've got my original grips, I've got my collar tie, I've got my inside hook grip on the triceps, and now it's time to step back and to the side at an angle and give him a very violent snap down. What your goal is, is to make your partner slap his hands on the mat. He is not going to fight me. He's not gonna hold on tight. He's gonna be nice and relaxed and he's gonna allow me to do this. I'm jamming in him with my elbow, he pushes back a little, and I snap him down. What I want you guys to do is not fall to your elbows, okay? Fall to your hands. This left leg, on my left hand here, should be far enough back that he cannot just reach out and grab it with your right, yeah, with that right hand. So it's, it's not here, which is one of the biggest mistakes people make when they first learn my drill. Go ahead and come on back. So they end up doing something like this. And the leg is right there. Don't do that. Watch where my leg goes. I'm jamming into him. And now you can be up tall, right? And you really, your hands will kind of come back here. Because you don't want to put your nose in the mat. So bring your hands back. Yeah, you'll be about right there. And now notice, I'm committing my weight falling forward with my hand here and my hand here. Now he's going to come right back. And I came right back in. What am I going to do? I'm going to do the move again. Come back. Normal. Just relax. Come back. Energy in. Snap. And come back. Now, now I'm going to add in the grips. So if you're a beginner, collar tie, inside hook. What you eventually want to learn is I'm not gonna grip. I don't grip the collar tie for this drill because I'm learning how to snap. My elbow's gonna be in and my hand's gonna be open. So my palm, my hand is, fingers are open. I'm pushing in with my elbow, my forearm, and then my hand's gonna slap the back of his neck. So listen to the sound. Okay, sorry about that. So I slap him. Over here on this side, I've got the post on the inside of the shoulder. You can grip me back. Good, see, I'm pushing. My hand is not set on the offensive grip, it's on a pushing grip. Then what happens is both hands are open and then at the same time, this hand will pull. So I get used to it. So I'm jamming my opponent, he pushes back. Now I'm trying to make the move, slow motion. And go back. Back to pushing, time to pull. Back to pushing, time to pull, and repeat. Now, it may be confusing why I'm sticking my right leg up in the air. To, to understand this, one, I'm trying to sprawl my leg. I'm teaching you guys how to sprawl. In wrestling, a lot of times when guys are sprawling, they learn what's called a down block. A down block is where I drop my hand and then my leg goes back, okay? And I'm learning how to kick that leg back. My hand is down to create a barrier so my opponent can't penetrate through. So in the same sense, I'm kicking my leg back just like a down block, and that's gonna also drive pressure onto him. Now, in the, this is a drill to teach rhythm, to teach the sprawl, to teach how to snap, to teach pressure. 
So again, one more time, I'm gonna drive this home. I know I'm talking a lot about the same thing, but look, snap, and I'm leaning on him. My right leg, instead of having it on the mat, my leg is in, up. I'm learning how to fall right now forward so that we can go to the next technique. So one more time, let me come back in, come back up. I'm pushing, see the back leg pushing? And now time for a big snap. Now I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fall forward, watch. Snap, fall forward, and we have a front headlock. Notice right leg that's in the air. Where is all the weight? Come around, John, look at the angles. Shoulder goes in the back of the neck, grabbing the chin, grabbing the triceps, and now I can settle this leg on the mat if I choose. I could have knee down with toe, or I could be on my toe. That's optional, and that depends on the situation. But what I'm learning is how to drop that shoulder on my opponent. Now today, what we've been doing this week is going to a seat belt. I'm gonna probably show you more on another video on how to go to the back. For right now, I'm gonna give you the wrestling move, okay? Uh, I'll tell you what, we'll do wrestling style, um, and then I'll give you guys more of a jujitsu style next time, okay? So snap down drill, watch this. Um, I'm, first, I'm gonna teach you a little bit more about how to drop your body. So I snap down, fall forward. See that? And now my body weight's on him. And now again, I could take multiple grips. I could go here, front body lock, front head lock. I could go inside here, do an arm drag. I could go a seat belt. There's so many different moves. But one of the wrestling ones I do, one of them, is just a quick spin. This is what we did today with our kids. So I'm pushing them. When I snap and I go, I do this. Snap right away as my leg is going back. I'm already diving on top of him, trying to be as athletic as possible and spin and get to here. So, wrestling wise, we have a tight waist and then we have a chop. Come around here, John. See all the angles here. Okay? So, I have a chop and then I have my feet here, like this. Okay? Again? So. Wrestling wise, I just give him a hard, violent snap, and then I move around. I'm pushing him, I get some energy, I hit that nice snap, remember, open hands, snap, and I spin. And now I'm bringing that elbow down, and I beat the horn, so he wasn't able to grab my legs. I can go inside and wrestling, looking for hand control, looking for wrist control. If it's jujitsu, you could still use this, and then go straight into a seat belt. Okay, and just go straight to the seat belt. So here would be maybe a little bit for jujitsu here. I'm jamming my opponent, right? He pushes back in. I get that, I learn that feeling. How to jam in with my body weight. I'm defending my right leg with my elbow. If he tries to reach to grab my leg, see I'm jamming him. Now he's trying, so I snap him. And then I'm falling forward so that my shoulder can go down and my chest can go. At the same time, my hands here, I'm just spinning. Right away, toes, notice my hips. I'm not way up here, okay? Where if you get in trouble, the guy would just bring your hands in a little bit and you're on posture, posture. Yeah, no, 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 hands in. And now just, no, straight, straight. And then now just kind of dump truck by lifting your butt up in there and your head can go down now. Whoa! And I fall down, you see that? Yeah. So. I don't want to lose my balance. So I jam him, hit a violent snap, boom. And now if you try to do anything, see where I am? I'm covering your hip and I'm here. If he tried to stand up like a tripod, see how I'm still, I'm bringing him down and I'm getting you here. I'm not gonna to get too high on the person. A lot of times in jujitsu you get high because you think about the hooks and we want to make sure that we have control. What if this guy is a big Robbie Lawler I don't want to get lifted. I don't want to get, yeah, look at that guy. Go ahead, try it again. I don't want to do what Ben Astro did and hit. Not that he did this, but what I'm, the snap down part, but the point being the positioning. I don't want to do this, fall on top and be way over here. So a guy could grab my leg and yeah, just go ahead and start lifting. Like posture up, lifts, no, no, no. Instead of like that, just stand right up. Step your right leg up and lift me into the air. Step up, yeah. Now I'm up here 
and then if the guy launched me, I could fall on my head. So, wait, you want to settle your weight like this. Here, I push him, snap, and I'm here, guys. Look, this is the wrestling style. I give him a nice, and then I've got all that weight. That tight waist is pulling, chopping on his arm, going to the wrist, the fingers. If I want to do jujitsu style, I can go to here now, and then we can start bringing him down, getting our hooks in, and basics, getting that choke. Okay. How's that? Think so? Think it's good? All right. I know it's a simple drill, guys. Even if you just start out with rhythm, it's very important. Do not let go of the, just recap. I just gotta drive this home, guys. Look, I'm gonna do it very soft. I'm not gonna do it hard. I'm just gonna learn rhythm. Go back. Rhythm. There's no extra steps, guys. It's a rhythm game. Push him, pull him. Every single grappler needs to do this so they learn timing and rhythm. I am in, I'm out. And I'm not losing control, I'm keeping weight on my opponent. In and out, in and out, like a dance. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed. That's it for tonight, we're gonna do some more fun stuff with it later. Teach me grappling, see you guys out, later.